Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Happy Friday again and again, right? Guys, we are doing no trust zone, right? People are playing in each other's phones. Either that or you're just looking at that phone like, what the hell is going on in that phone, right? It's none of your business. Stay away from the phones, guys. Stay away from the phones, right? Stay away from the phones. It is what it is. This is no trust zone, right? Either you don't trust them or they don't trust you. Or maybe your person just don't trust somebody else. Either way, we're going to find out tonight. Feel free to put these energies, guys. It could be you and your person or your person and another, right? And vice versa. Let's get it. Holy Spirit, who's not trusting who and why? What's going on, right? Who's not trusting who and why? Guys, this is this is an F it up Friday, so I'm just digging for the dirt. Purposely digging for the dirt, right? Purposely digging for some dirt. No trust zone. Searching the internet for any and everything. So they are Googling your ass. They are looking you up. They are searching the internet. They're searching web pages. They're searching sites. They're searching apps. They're searching. They're creating fake accounts. They're doing everything. They're befriending you up under a different name just to see what the hell you're doing, right? They're all over the internet. All in your business, right? All in your business. They don't trust you. They want to see what you're out there posting and this, that, and the other. Holy Spirit. At this point, they're doing all that searching. You might as well pay a hacker. Pay a hacker to just dig in on your person. I mean, that's the easiest way. It's going to cost you, but a hacker can get you everything you want. But you didn't hear that from me. I'm just saying. You want me to hack for you? I would never. <laughs> I would never. Holy Spirit. Energy doesn't lie and ours feel off. So... The energy feels off, guys. So that's why they're either searching you or you're searching them, right? They looking you up because they said the energy's not right. They feel like you, you sidestep it on them, right? Too many apologies and promises that didn't come true. So they're always apologizing for everything. They're always saying they're going to do this and it never comes to fruition. They say we're going to do that and it never comes to fruition. They say they're going to change and it never comes to fruition. You know, everything that they say just never comes true, right? You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And it's just not happening. You're like a puzzle and a lot of pieces are missing. See, either that or guys, or they just can't figure you out. They may feel like your energy is off. They may feel like you're hiding something. They may feel like you're up to something. They could feel like you're just up to no good. You know, whatever, 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 whatever. It could be insecurities that brought them here. I don't know. Why doesn't this person trust you, right? Or why don't you trust them? Um, sometimes this can happen, especially if this is a new connection. It could be that they've been through something, you know. So let's see what they've been through with Karmic Tales 3. Have they been through something that make them insecure? Because that's insecurity, right? If you don't trust your person that much, you shouldn't be with them. All right, Holy Spirit, Karmic Tales 3. Anything in this deck? I fell in love with potential. So they could have fallen in love with somebody and they thought it was going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread and it didn't. So now they're taking that energy and they're putting it on you as if you're just as effed up as their other person. Not saying that the other person was effed up, but it could have been their own fault that they fell in, in love with potential. You can't fall in love with something that you think is going to be great. It should already be great, right? And then they add to it, whatever. Holy Spirit fell in love with potential. They fell in love with potential. Um, they was people pleasing this person. So they probably been through some things and now they don't trust you. Holy Spirit, what else did this person go through? And this person is also a narcissist. So that's what they do. This is the energy that they give. This person is very insecure. I told you guys, a narcissist, yes, they are a pain in the ass. And yes, they think they're everything, and yes, they talk mad stuff. But deep down inside, a narcissist is just an insecure person. Because if you're the first person to walk away from them or the first one to call them out on their mess, they don't know how to handle it. They're insecure. A narcissist is really insecure. That's why they big up themselves. That's why they make their lives greater than, you know, 
they're just huge, you know, in their own mind. They build themselves up, right? But the letdown, the letdown is something else for that person. All right, guys, let's get it. I feel like talking tonight. Let's just go with it. I've been drinking my green tea, so my energy's up. All right, let's go. But I think I drank it too late. I'm still drinking on it, which means I'm probably going to be up all night. They're searching you. They may see you as being single and very abundant. Uh, so that can make them a little insecure. And they do want a connection with you. But they feel like the energy just feels off, right? They could be bringing this in from their past relationships because they fell in love with potential. They're hopeful, right? They're definitely hopeful uh, about being with you, but it's been too many promises, too many things that didn't come true with this person. You're the Queen of Cups. You're like a puzzle to them, and a lot of pieces are missing. They believe you're very loving in all of these things. They try to figure you out. They can see that you're single. They can see that you are abundant. Um, the energy doesn't lie, and it kind of feels off, but either way, they still want a connection with you. Maybe you said a few things to them, too many apologies, or they said too many things to you. Feel free to flip these energies. Uh, but things that just didn't come true, and they are hopeful, though. Holy Spirit, what's going on? How do they see you, right? They could feel like they're being left out in the cold by you. They may even think, they may think that you're in a connection as well and that you're cheating. They may think you're already in a connection and that you're cheating or you may feel this way about them. But they're hopeful, though. They definitely want to be with you. They, you're the queen of pentacles now. You're, you're that you're that girl, right? <laughs> you're that girl. And the queen of swords. So you're very, matter of fact, you're very strong in your spot. You speak your mind. You say what you need to say. Uh, you're not sugarcoating anything. You just are, right? I mean, you're three queens. You bad. The only queen in reverse is the queen of wands. They probably think you're cheating. They think you're in another connection. That's why the energy feels off. They don't want to be left out in a cold with you. Maybe they can't seem to manifest your energy in or they're just not standing strong in their own spot. They feel like rushing in though. They're definitely rushing towards you, even though the energy feels off. They're, they're rushing. They're rushing in. And they do want a relationship with you. They feel like it would be joy, stability, growth, all this stuff together. Maybe they can even see themselves marrying you with this Four of Wands energy. But they're probably afraid to offer you this cup, this page of cups. They could be a little afraid. They're probably a little intimidated by you, right? Are you bad. <laughs> you all the queens. Okay, you bad. Holy Spirit. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. They do want you though, that's for sure. They do want you. They want you back. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Spirit, clarify this Hierophant. So you two had something. They want you back. They feel like you made promises that didn't come true. Whatever, whatever. They don't kind of trust you. Um, they feel like you're deceiving them. They think you're in a connection. Ask the person. They feel manipulated a little bit. But they're hopeful. So it's like this person want to be with you, but they are afraid to be with you. They have a lot of stuff in their head, but they need to ask the questions. Are you in a relationship? Yes, no, maybe so. I mean, ask them. They'll tell you. Right? Holy Spirit, clarify the star card. They can see your reaper rewards uh, from your past work or anything that you've been doing. There's victory taking place in your life. This person is probably just a little insecure when it comes to you because you're bad. Holy Spirit, Queen of Cups. You're also very loving. King of Cups in reverse. They're afraid to offer you love. They're afraid to offer to you. Maybe they think you're not going to take it if they offer it. King of Cups. But they love you. 
they love you ace of cups yeah they do yeah they do holy spirit queen of wands in reverse they just want to agree to disagree um about something maybe they were cheated on right and they could be taking this out on you four swords and five of swords in reverse yeah they're swimming away to common waters they've been in something they fell in love with potential and the potential didn't turn out the way that they wanted. So they're hopeful about you, but they're scared of you at the same damn time. They want to be with you, but they are afraid of you because of what happened in their past. Because they're a people pleaser. And they don't want to do that again. Holy Spirit, clarify this Queen of Pentacles. They're not putting in any work yet. They're just watching you, trying to see what's up with you. They're definitely going through something. Or maybe they're with the Queen of Pentacles. They are the King of Pentacles. This could be their person. And there's tower moments happening in their life. So they want to be with you, afraid to be with you because they fell in love with potential. And now they don't trust you because of issues that happen there. They're a hangman. They're definitely moving on fast from a situation as well. Yeah, because of infidelity. So their person cheated on them, so now they don't trust you. So they're bringing an energy from a past connection to you. Um, they're not following their intuition. Secrets could have been revealed as well to them. And now they're starting to follow their intuition. They want a new opportunity, possibly with you. Yeah, an empress. They're, they're, they're just bringing baggage from a past relationship, and that's not good. Page of Cups in reverse, so that's why they're hesitating on offering you love. Page of Swords, they're just watching you, searching the internet, seeing what you're up to. But they do want a new beginning with you. New love, new all of that. They're not a hermit, they're just choosing to stay away from you, not come close, whatever. Being very, very sneaky. Hoping you're not involved with anyone and all that stuff. I don't know. But they're bringing energy from their past connection. Because um, they fell in love with potential. Holy Spirit, clarify fell in love with potential. Let's take out four. Uh, they're moving on from that. They're releasing the devil. Standing in their spot. But they are up in their head about it. Holy Spirit, clarify this narcissist. They have a fear of change. King of Wands in reverse. Not saying anything. Um, they may feel like you have other options, whatever. So they're creating delays. But they're not up in their head when it comes to you. They do feel like you may make them happy. Their energy is off. Their energy is unbalanced. They're, they're afraid to take this leap of faith. They are, but they do want justice. They probably want to make things right. Now they're standing in their strength. They want a ten of pentacles with you. Here they come, slowly but surely, facing their judgment. There they are, slow walking, right? Slow walking, looking back at the past, but being persistent. They probably feel like they'll be teamwork with you. Now they got clarity on the situation. They're in that thing that they were in. They are frustrated they do not want to go back to the past because the past was unbalanced and too many burdens all right guys i'm gonna leave it there <laughs> thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe peace